I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. Should learn a computer language because it teaches you how to think. What's up you guys? I'm back with another video. I hope you're doing well and I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. I'm back in Dublin. I had taken a short break to visit my friends and family back home in India. And now I'm back and super pumped. This new year, I want to make more videos for you guys. I've been thinking about various formats. I want to include more storytelling and more visually uh, pleasing videos. But those are going to take effort and time. So we'll mix them in between and we'll try to make some of those as well. But yeah, talking about new year resolutions, the topic for this video is why I think everyone needs to learn to code. It doesn't really matter if you're young or old, if you're a student or a professional or an an aspiring software engineer or you're, you're just working in some completely different field. I really feel that there's a strong reason why you should learn to code. And it's not like you need to learn everything that a software engineer does, you know, like today I do a bunch of things which are more than just writing code, but basically writing code or programming should be a fundamental skill. I believe at this point, we're in 2022 now, and this is the age of computers, you know, like every single person in this world is interacting with computers on a daily basis, be it your phone, your watch, your laptop, your anything, right? We do so much on computers. It's only natural for us to understand how these computers actually work because that will help you to think better. That will help you to learn to use these better and to make better use of all your devices. And I think in general, it's a good skill to have. You know, while we're growing up in school in the early days, we are taught the alphabet and we are taught basic maths and science right in that i think computer science needs to be added as one of the fundamental subjects that every kid needs to learn um, and i'm not talking about building products and like blockchain and web3 and advanced stuff just the fundamental art of writing to code yes i called it an art because i really believe it's an art and people agree with me it's not just me saying i think steve jobs mentioned in some of his videos that so i i view computer science as a liberal art in general i think it is an art and i think people should definitely learn to code because it teaches you how to think you know it teaches you problem solving in general in life you have so many problems you know every single step of your life you're facing problems and learning to code will essentially make you a better problem solver you know no matter what kind of problem it is it will give you a framework of your mind to think about problems and to break them down into smaller chunks and to you know solve them divide and conquer or something these are basically programming skills and lessons but then it really applies in real life. And I think learning to code is only going to do you good. Whether or not you want to become a software engineer, that comes much later, that's secondary. But basically you need to have the skill of programming. You need to be able to say that, hey, I know how to program, whether it's something, you know, pick Python. Python is a language that I think everyone should learn because you can do basic things in it. You can automate your daily life things, right? For example, when you use your laptop, you know, you board it up and you go to Spotify, you play your song and you open your mail and you do a bunch of these things. You can just write a simple Python script, right? You can write a shell script or a Python script. Python is the easier one. So you can write a simple Python script that, you know, every time you boot up your computer from scratch, it will execute and it will open all the things that you normally open because this, this is like routine stuff, right? You go, let's say you open your laptop, you open Spotify, you play your playlist, then you go to your browser, you open your mail, you open XYZ tabs and you do a bunch of things that you do on repeat. All of that can be automated. And this is just one example. You can automate a ton of things that you do, the manual work that you do, that you spend a lot of time doing. Because like I said, time is precious. Time is the most precious thing that we have. And if programming can help you save some time, it's a win-win, right? In fact, I think it's being appreciated for the fact that programming is so important for all fields that, you know, I know a bunch of friends who are studying different things. My own sister is doing a PhD in biotechnology and they are taught to learn to program in their PhD in biotechnology, in microbiology. So yeah, I'm not the only one who thinks programming is a skill that should be universal and everyone should learn this. But yeah, I think this is a great time to start to learn to program because you know, it's a new year 2022 and every one of us have some kind of new year resolutions. If I was you, I would take a new year resolution that I want to learn to code this year and I would just get started with that. And to promote this, I've basically partnered with Geeks for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks is a platform that I've used plenty of times during my college days, you know, while I was learning to code and while I was preparing for placements. I think they have a bunch of very helpful resources. And for this video, I've partnered with them because they are coming up with the most exciting and biggest event for 2022, which is called Resolution Days 2022. So as a part of Resolution Days 2022, Geeks for Geeks has come up with various exciting events. You can pick your resolution, whether you want to learn data structure algorithms, whether you want to learn to code, whether you just want to learn web development, 
whether you want to become placement ready there are a bunch of resources and there are a bunch of free and paid courses so you can go ahead and pick your resolution and start with it right away apart from this they have a bunch of events like test your skills where you can actually test what you've learned i've always believed that you need to know where you stand in order to improve from there so test your skills is a great way to do that and they have a bunch of discounts and offers running where you can actually find some of their premium and paid courses for heavy discounts during this new year season so do check it out i think they have some great courses and if you can get them for a huge discount then why not right go ahead and click the link in the description to check out geeks for geeks and i hope you guys take a good new year resolution and i hope you learn to code this year also if you need any help from me do let me know in the comments down below or you can reach out to me on instagram and i'm happy to help you out well that's it for this video i hope you like this one if you did smash the like button leave a comment down below if you have any other questions for me you can also reach out to me on instagram or twitter i think i use these platforms quite a bit not gonna lie i've reduced how much i use these platforms but I do use them so I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can but that's it that's it for this video thank you for watching